day, good afternoon. Today we are going to proceed by Ron's Essential Words for the IELTS Unit 3 Text 1. First headlamps. On the left hand side we have text, on the right hand side we have questions related to this text. So let's read the task. So the reading passage contains six paragraphs from A to F. Which paragraph discuss the following information? Write the correct letter from A to F. So let's, let's read uh, first task. Lamp that used to burning wood. Let's highlight keywords. This is burning wood. So let's try to find this information in the paragraph. So basically, uh, wood is, they don't use the same word in the text. They can just use synonyms here. So what does this mean, wood? Wood is basically a tree. They can just say here some information about tree or kind of tree, so which will be used as uh, wood for the lamp. So let's try to find here some information about the wood. So basically, Mm, here, uh, on the p first paragraph, we don't have any information about the uh, burning wood, which could be used for the lamp. Let's review the paragraph B. Here we have some information about um, a pail of a pine knots burning in an iron gate that sat uh, in a box of sand on platform car. It means that this is B. Will be will be as the answer to the first question. First question answer will be B. So let's highlight highlight it just to know. So the second question: Lamps rugged uh, enough to use these cars. Rugged enough to use with cars. So let's highlight these keywords. We have to find some information about cars. So this part we already scanned in the we. Um, we can we have to find some information about cars, or sometimes the synonym to the cars could be a vehicle. So um, here, as in the task, it doesn't say that don't use one word one, more than twice. There is no uh, rules here in the task, so it could be in this way that one one paragraph could be used twice. So it's better to be careful in this case. So, um, some information about cars, I can find here, here some information about trains, but it's not cars. So, here, some information about the train equipment. This kind of things about the train as well. So uh, here in the text E we have some automobiles. It is basically cars. So um, also here cars require more rugged parts. So this is basically answer to this question. So there is information about the cars and uh, here information about uh, related to our question. So the requirement for car headlamps were more straight than those for trains because roads were uh, even rougher than rails. Cars required more rugged parts and as a stream generators had to be smaller than those in trains. So basically the answer to the second question will be E. Let's read the third question. Lamp that generated its own electricity. Some information about electricity. Uh, of generation of the electricity. This kind of lamps which generated its their uh, own electricity, which is basically cool. So, I couldn't see some information about electricity in the, in the paragraph A and in the paragraph B as well, but I can just check and quick scan it. So let's go to paragraph C. Uh, here doesn't say anything about the electricity. So let's go further to the paragraph D. And uh, let's review here. Maybe there is some, there is information about the own generator, yes. There is information about generator as well. So here also 
electro headlamps basically could be answered to our question. Let's review it quickly. So the French first used steam generators to power electric headlamps on the trains. Yeah, they used this stream generators as electric uh, stream generators for electric headlamps so so basically the answer to the third question will be D let's highlight this paragraph let's read the first question the drawbacks of using flames for light flames for light let's try to find from the beginning so I can see here some information about the flames and uh, they were used for for light basically this this sentence probably will be answered to our question before electricity light was tricky business flames cost limited light and uh, vulnerable to winds and weather and uh, can lead to disaster so this is a basically is there is information about the flame of lights, the drawbacks of it basically and why they were vulnerable to winds and the weather. The reason why it was uh, so it was a drawback of the flame of uh, using flames or for light. So uh, the first question answer is A. Let's read fifth question. Lamps that used reflectors to cast more intense light. There is information about reflectors, basically. We couldn't see any information here about reflectors. So we, uh, text B, we basically already reviewed and there were no information about reflectors, but we can scan it quickly in case we are not sure about that. So let's read the question here's some information about the reflectors and uh, uh -huh. so basically in 1841 some trains used on oil lamp backed by a curved reflector an improvement but oil lamps uh, blew out easily in the wind including the wind generated by the movement of the train so basically the answer to the fifth question will be C. Let's highlight paragraph C. Let's just, let's read the question six. The year the first train was equipped with electric headlamps. Так, some information about the first train and uh, uh, about the year in which year it was equipped with electric headlamps. Let's review for that, there is no information about the trains, etc. Remember, here we can find some information, but for this time, they were not were not equipped with the uh, with the headlamps. So here, also about uh, the in the text D, is also some information about the uh, trains. Basically. In Russia, run the first train equipped with a battery powered electric headlamps. This is basic answer to the question. It was in Russia, so this information here before headlamps were uh, developed, and after that, they started to use in the trains. And here is an example is Russia. So, basically, this paragraph refers to the sixth question. A reason why acetylene lamps. Are more efficient than oil lamps so basically it's uh, easier to find these words because we can just it's impossible to replace the, the word acetylene and uh, oil with other words oil basically possible to um, to use synonym hydrocarbons in case we can find here some information about hydrocarbons it will be for sure answer to the seventh seventh question let's review it from the beginning here we do we have some information about chemical substances yep here we have some information about oil lamp so let's read the sentence it's at about the same time 
uh, Schenectady and the Troy Railroad trains displayed a whale oil lamp uh, po uh, positioned between a reflector and a lens about 12 inch higher in its through light up to 100 feet ahead of the train. This is uh, about the oil lamps, basically. So, why is, I don't know why, so let's try to find some information all oh, oil lamps as well. Yeah. Yes, this is a, just a drawback, but oil lamps blew out easily in the wind, including the wind generated by the movement of the train. This is basically why they just uh, started to use acetylene lamps instead of oil lamps, because this is a drawback of the oil lamps that were easily blew out easily in the wind, which is so... It was so bad for that time, so basically... This is related to the seventh question, so answer to the seventh question will be C. As you can see, we use one paragraph several times. Um, a reason why f uh, flight trains traveled at night. So about the flight trains, basically we have to highlight these words, and uh, at night. So we have to find some information about flight trains. Here we have information about trains, let's highlight it. But do we have information about flight trains here in this paragraph B? Yes, we have here information about the flight tra trains. To avoid these delays, railroads started running flight trains at night. So basically, paragraph B is the answer to the eighth question. So. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Good luck on IELTS exam. Bye.